Hey everybody, today I'm Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to adjust the coffee grinder. Let's get straight into it. Now if you are grinding your own coffee at home, you'll realise your coffee grinder will have an adjusting wheel on the top just like this. Basically, this lets you adjust how fine or how coarse you want the coffee before it comes into the hopper, of course. Now, based on a lot of factors such as weather, humidity, time of day, the type of coffee bean, this will always need to be adjusted. Not all the time, usually once a day is usually fine. As you can see here, I've drawn a line on it where it's perfect, but that does sometimes fluctuate and I do need to adjust it. So guys, the easiest way to realize if you need to adjust it, basically fill up your group handle. What we're gonna do is make one espresso. We're gonna count how long it's gonna take and how fast it's coming. Okay, so as you can see, the color is perfect. This took about 12 seconds. Now, you did realize it is quite a bit runny. Usually, you want it to be at around 18 to 20 seconds. So it should be nice and slow. It should just pour out like liquid gold. Now, when the espresso comes out too fast, our grind is too coarse. That means we need to make it a bit more fine. And if it's coming out too slow, it's too fine. So we need to make it more coarse. So in this case, we're going to go a bit more finer. So if you look very closely, although it is in Italian, it's common sense. Coarse is going this way, fine is going that way. So like I said, we need to make it more fine, which ironically would mean the lines would have to match up again. So in this case to do that, you just push down on here and we turn it at the same time. So our lines are matching now. We'll lock it in place. Now, obviously, we need to empty whatever grind is in here already. Luckily, it's not too much. Now, guys, you don't necessarily have to throw this out. Just store it. In my case, if I'm making a tiramisu or coffee mousse or anything based with coffee, I'll just use this. So don't waste it. Once your grinder hopper is completely empty, we'll switch our grinder on and grind fresh coffee. So once your grinder hopper is full, we'll get our group handle and we'll not make another fresh espresso. So back to our espresso machine, place the handle in, get a fresh glass and time it again. Okay, that's 24 seconds, but look at our color. See, it's in three perfect layers. Now, most importantly, you saw what speed was coming out at. So guys, that's all there is to it. You just want to keep on adjusting that. As I said, the humidity, the weather makes a huge difference. As funny as it sounds, it affects it a lot. So generally, once a day, it needs to be readjusted. In my case at my restaurant, it's usually on the cold side. So usually it's at that same line which I pointed out on my grinder. So it's easy for me. So if you're lucky, the same thing will happen to you. You'll find the perfect place and you'll never have to adjust it again. Simple as that guys. I hope you liked that. Please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or suggestions, leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.